Now in this next demo, I'm going to introduce a slightly different strategy to use over a 251. We're still going to use pentatonics, and we're going to still use the same pentatonic over the dominant chord, which is built up a flat third from the root of the dominant chord. And we're going to still use the same pentatonic built on the, on the one chord, the major chord, which is built on the seven of the major chord. But on the two chord, which in this case was a C minor chord, we're going to use the pentatonic built on the fifth degree of the, of the minor seven chord. So if it's a C minor chord, the fifth degree pentatonic would be starting on a G. And the tensions that's going to give us are a fifth, a flat seven, a root, a nine, and, and an 11. So this all still, still uh, works nicely over a C minor seven chord, then no clashes. So again, over a C minor seven chord, now we have a G blues scale. Now, if you remember, over the F7 altered chord, we have an A flat blues scale. And over the B flat major seven chord, we were using an A blues scale. So the three scales we have are G blues, to A flat blues, to A blues. Now that's just chromatic movement. It's moving up a half step each time from G to A flat to A. Now this could either be a guitar player's dream or a guitar player's nightmare, depending on your point of view. One of the things we could do is take a lick and just move it up a half step. And another half step. Take a shape, move it up the fret that way. Move up the fretboard that way. So that can be very liberating, again, for guitar players. But it's also important to approach the instrument uh, with good voice leading, too. So keep that in mind, too, as we run the track. take a, lot, a phrase, move it up a half step, and then move up another half step. Again. I'm going to try to voice lead a little bit. Some uh, bending some notes. 